Out of the tens and tens of thousands of people out there with the Give Energy battery system, there's still a significant percentage who are not taking full advantage. This is what my research has told me by looking at the stats on our database. They're not charging their battery from their grid. They're just relying on solar panels, for example. Now, although these are good for storing solar energy, which is free and you can store that energy and use it through the night, the big savings for me personally, especially in winter when solar isn't that helpful in the UK, is taking advantage of a time of day tariff. That's charging this from the grid at a cheap rate. So then the battery then powers the house using cheap electricity. So this is what a time of day tariff is. There's a cheap rate, typically at night, and then the rest of the day is probably a bit more expensive than a standard flat rate tariff. So to avoid paying the more expensive peak rate, you charge your battery up using that cheap electric, that powers the house, using cheap electricity, and then the cheap rate comes around again and you charge it back up. That's essentially what these are brilliant at doing. And it saves me personally, because we've got a full electric household, a huge sum of money, even if I took solar out of the equation completely, which essentially is what winter does for me anyway. So what I'm gonna do is show you how much roughly you might be able to save doing this, essentially taking advantage of the tariff with the battery, then two combining, especially in winter with no solar, you can save what could be hundreds of pounds a year, potentially more depending on your usage. So for that, we need to go somewhere a little bit more whiteboardy. So this is an example of the tariff that I'm on. I've changed the timing a little bit just to make the graph a little easier to understand, but essentially I pay seven pence per kilowatt hour at night between midnight and 6 a.m. And for the other 18 hours of the day, I pay a little bit more than a, a cheap flat rate tariff would be. Uh, and that is 25 pence. So the best flat rate tariff I could get from my energy, energy provider was about 22, 23 pence per kilowatt hour. So essentially this tariff means I'm paying more during the day, but considerably less at night. But with the battery loading up on cheap electric, then I can avoid the vast majority of peak pricing. So in this example, I've based it on 10 kilowatt hours of electricity usage per day. So that means that if I'm on a flat rate tariff, 23p, then that is simply 10 times 23 pence because it's 10 kilowatt hours and 23p per kilowatt hour. And that comes to two pound 30. So in terms of the cheap nighttime rate, that's seven pence. Simply put, that would be 10 kilowatt hours times seven P, which gives us 70 pence. But I've added 15% on top of that to allow for inverter losses and a tiny bit of peak rate usage, which you will always have with any battery system. So effectively, I'm saying that on this tariff, the average usage, if you're using 10 kilowatt hours per day, the average cost, sorry, would be 81 pence on the time of day tariff and two pound 30 on a flat rate where, where you're paying the same all day around every hour. That means you'll save one pound 49 per day. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, does it? That doesn't really, that doesn't buy you lunch. But over a year, that's 544 pounds saving purely by changing a tariff from a standard flat rate to a time of day tariff, a time of use tariff, if you will. And there are, again, different versions out there. There are some that are slightly cheaper than this, than the one I'm on, some that are more expensive, some that have multiple slots, some that have just one. And there's one that even changes every 30 minutes and it's different every day. So there's lots of options out there and they're getting more and more common. This is not something that's gonna die off when more people get electric cars or batteries. If anything, they're only gonna get more common and pretty much every energy provider I looked at has their own version or versions of a time of day tariff. Now remember, this video is essentially aimed at people who already have a Give Energy system. So the hardware's already there. This is what you could be missing out on if you use 10 kilowatt hours per day on average per year. So over a decade, that's well over five and a half thousand pounds at today's prices. Who knows what, what the prices will be five, 10 years from now. But that's a huge saving, which again, you're not taking advantage of. So I've got a couple more here, well, a few more here at 15 kilowatt hours per day usage, then using the same formula, you'll save 818 pounds, 20 kilowatt hours per day, just over, a, well, nearly 1100 pounds, over a thousand pound usage there. 
and 25 kilo hours per day, you would end up saving 1,365 pound based on this simplistic formula. So it's, it's accurate enough to give you a good idea, but of course, everybody is different. This needs tailoring to you and only you can do that because only you know your usage pattern and well, effectively, it's, it's this, this is all you have to do to give you a, a good idea of the savings. And it's also what you could save potentially as well, based on these, if you just got a battery by itself with no solar, because all you need is that time of day tariff. Think of it like going to a supermarket and buying a month's worth of toilet roll when they're on offer. And then you use the toilet roll that you've all bought at the cheap time or cheap uh, price for the rest of the month. And then the special offer's back on again. And you, you load up again and keep doing that. It's like a predictable sale. Every night, electricity is on sale at seven pence and the battery's storing that cheap electric to power the house through the rest of the day. So this is something that I'm not gonna say a 100% of people watching this video can access because you'll need a smart meter and essentially an energy company that has one, which is pretty much every energy company out there. So it's not 100% of people but it's probably not far off. The vast, vast, vast majority of people with a given energy battery right now should be able to get some sort of time of day tariff. It may be slightly more expensive than this, it might be cheaper, but ultimately it is there. So you just need to, to do some research to, to find the best one for you. And it could be simply as just ringing up your energy provider and saying, hi, can I switch to this please? In terms of battery capacity, in terms of you know how big a battery do you need? Well, of course, that is very much based on your usage. With this sort of formula, the more you use, the more you save, because what it does, it changes it from, let's say, 23 pence on a flat rate to, in my case, seven. So it's like knocking just over two thirds off your electricity bill. So the more I use, the more I would save. It'd be like buying a car that does 20 miles per gallon better than your current car. You think, well, the more miles I do, the more I would save compared to the other car. In terms of the battery capacity, if we use the original example, 10 kilowatt hours per day, then you're going to have some natural usage during the cheap window, even if you ignore the battery. That's six hours where your house is still operating. Even though it's at night, you've still got things on, the fridge, the freezers, and if you load shift as well, if you put your dishwasher or your washing machine on a timer, so they run during the nighttime, you know, cheap period, then this could be a lot higher. But I've roughly guesstimated that you would use at least 1.5 kilo hours during the cheap window when the battery's charging up, which means your battery only has to power 8.5 kilo hours. And again, that can be lowered if you just load shift and time things to run at night, whether it is a dishwasher or a washing machine or something like that. So this is probably the most if that's how much you use per day, 10 kilowatt hours, that's probably the most the battery will have to do. So therefore a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery from Give Energy should be more than sufficient to cover that. If you got an all-in-one, that's 13.5 kilowatt hours, then it gives you more than enough of a buffer. Now, in terms of which energy provider, which tariff can I recommend you to go to? Unfortunately, because we work with so many different energy companies, we have to kind of remain neutral in this respect. But, as I said earlier, pretty much every energy provider has a time of day tariff. Some of them are linked to electric vehicle ownership, so it's designed for someone with an electric car. Some are designed for EVs, but they allow anybody to go on that tariff. So it's designed for an electric car, but you don't actually need one to get onto it. Some are for batteries alone, they're, they're getting more common now. There are some tariffs out there just coming out for batteries, some are designed for heat pumps. Essentially, the eligibility of it is something that is so valuable, again, I can't tell you which one to go for. This is something that's worth spending a good 30 minutes, maybe an hour of your time, to potentially save hundreds of pounds a year. So it's, it's worth your time investment to find out which is the best for you. And that's, again, what this video is trying to do. If you've already got your battery system, or maybe you haven't, but this is aimed at people who already have the hardware installed, have already paid for it, but they're missing out on all this. So please do your research, find the best tariff, and start saving money. Right, well, thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully that's helped you, inspired you to, to do some research and find out what is out there 
By all means, ask questions in the comments section about this video and I'll try my best to answer them. But again, we have to kind of remain neutral in terms of recommending specific tariffs. And again, there are too many variables. And of course, if I say this is the best tariff today, tomorrow it might be one of the worst because the market is ever fluctuating. It's always changing. So me putting a video out saying this is the best is going to be very much of its time. So this way, I know it's a bit of a, oh, come on, tell us. You know, you're going to have to do some work yourself, I'm afraid. So again, thank you ever so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Give Energy channel because there are more little videos like this on how to save money, how to get the most out of your battery, as well as fixing simple issues yourself so you don't have to wait for support or anything like that. It's a, an information resource rather than just telling you about new products. It's not just a marketing tool. It's here to help. So thanks for watching. See you soon.